Hello everybody, my name is Virus Little, but I am back to bring you guys another video. Today, we will be looking at the last video in my Windows ME series. We will be looking at the final product of Windows Millennium Edition, or Windows ME. Now, right off the bat, you can see the setup has changed a little bit. The actual pictures look a little bit more different. It still looks more or less like the setup we're used to. However, it is just a tad bit different. Now, Windows Millennium was released to manufacturing on June 19th, 2000, and it was released to basically general availability on September 24th, 2000. Now, we're going to install all the components that could come in with Windows Millennium. Now, this is the final product. This is what was shipped out to consumers and on to computers. Now, as we all discussed, Windows ME isn't a very popular operating system at all. It has had so many bugs, driver problems, and just it just would not work for some computers. Some people say, oh, this is a really good operating system. It really works on my computer. But other people just don't have very good luck with it. It's all the throw of a dice with this operating system. It works on some computers and on others it doesn't. So basically it'll it'll crash on some computers while it works well on others. Now since this is the RTM version, I will be able to actually install some drivers that some needed drivers for Windows Millennium so we are able to actually run it. Here we go. Let's sign on. So it's setting up all the control panel, programs and start menu, Windows help, tuning applications, web TV, as you know, web TV. And then, uh, waiting for this little thing to finish, because web TV is amazing. There we go, so it needs to restart the computer and we shall restart the computer. Alrighty, so let's go right into Windows Millennium Edition, here we go. So I do believe I'm finishing up the setup and I'm going to make a quick cut to Windows Millennium Edition to the nice full screen one where you guys can see everything. Now I do have sound for this. I finally have sound for this operating system. So you guys are able to hear the startup sound. You guys are going to be able to hear the actual... There's a video I want to show you guys. There's a video, the startup video that shows up in the beginning. And I can show you guys that too while that plays. So I'm going to go ahead when that starts up. I'm going to mute myself when the actual video pops up and when the actual uh, startup sounds comes. And I'll turn off all the music so you guys can actually give it a hear. So that would be really nice. So you guys can actually hear the sounds in it. And then I'll just turn the music right back on once everything is done. So I'm going to show you guys the video that came up when you first ran Windows ME, when you first booted up into it. You can find this video on YouTube and all that, but I might as well keep it in because I wanted to keep it in to show you guys what, like, the out-of-box experience you would have after you were done installing this operating system. And as you can see, it is a little unstable. It is a little sluggish, I'll tell you that. That's just Windows ME being Windows ME because, you know, not very good operating system. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bash Windows ME all that much. Windows ME was a nice operating system. It was just rushed. Uh, it had a lot of very good components to it and it could have worked, but Microsoft rushed it and I mean they should have just waited to just have Windows XP on the line without because they probably lost a lot of potential customers for Windows XP for that one. Now, here we go, here's what the desktop looks like. Um, let me switch to a nicer view. <laughs> Let's do that transition right now. Alrighty, so I just restarted the computer and started all the needed software. And here we go, here's the startup sound. Beautiful! But you guys haven't heard that one in a long time. That was also the Windows 2000 startup sound, so that was really nice. You guys can get to hear it. Now let me go find the video real quick, and I'll show you guys what that video is right now. So, let's take a look.
And that was the video you guys would see when you first booted up Windows ME. So it was just basically just boasting about the features, the new things that were new with Windows ME, and just to give a nice user interface, a nice start, so the consumer, whoever it was, was not too intimidated by the whole operating system spiel. Now, as you can see, it was really... It's, you could definitely tell it was consumer orientated because of that video, just kind of boasting the features that Windows ME had, trying to make it as user friendly as possible, and I mean that's really good on Microsoft's part. It's just however, it was just kind of poorly executed by, you know, it being super rushed and being so unstable and not being very compatible with other drivers. on people's existing computers but all in all it was windows me minus all those problems would have been a very nice operating system for the home user Alrighty, so let's go back to this actually so it looks like all the features are relatively still the same there we go let's check out let's check out oh excuse me let's check out system restore first of all all right, System Restore looks very nice. Looks like the System Restore we saw in the beta build. Now will this actually function? Yes, it does. It actually does function. Very, very nice. Now let's move on to the game. See what the games they have. I'm pretty sure they're the same games. Oh, sweet. They have pinball. I loved pinball so much. I would play that game all the time. All right, no time to play. We got a video to make. All righty. Let's keep taking a look. So we got our games, we got Internet Hearts, Spades, on Zone.com. We're actually gonna try and find a play. Oh gosh, I'm surprised that these actually still work. That these, um, still work. I'm surprised. This is very nice. I'm actually playing with Windows ME. I never, I would never assume that this would actually work. I'm surprised people are still on this and still playing it. Check it out, look at this. There's three people here. That's cool. Hello. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's amazing how people are still on that. Sh shocks me. Anyways, let's go back and pretty much all the other ones. Online services with the same virtual editions. Here we got our MSN messaging service. Here we go. Don't need that. Let's go to my computer and the build number is 3000 as you can see version is 4.9 that's the kernel version for windows me all right let's take a look at internet explorer internet explorer is ie 5.5 looks a little bit more different doesn't have the super big branding of ie <clears throat> excuse me all righty it looks relatively the same nothing too different about it very very nice all right let's go where to where to let's see what's next um, let's take a look at Outlook Express. This is Outlook Express 5, I believe. It said the splash screen 5, so I'm pretty sure this is 5. I don't think this is 6 yet. Alright. Let's see, what else? Let's go take a look at the control panel. Control panel looks relatively the same. Here we go. See, relatively the same. Has the same little categories. 
that we have here are Adam Remove Programs. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a very simple version of Adam Remove Programs. Here we go. It's for Windows Setup. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Nothing too different about that. Let's go look at the recycle bin. Let's uh, empty the recycle bin. Let's take, let's get rid of that. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, this is really nice. I really do enjoy how Windows ME does look. I mean, like I said, it would have been a very good operating system had all the bugs, well, all of the bugs, I mean, that main problems with this would have been gone. And if they have done something else to it, it would have been very nice. Here's the help and support. Here we go. Here's our OS version. Tells us how much space there is. Very nice. So let's go home. This is basically kind of what the Windows, uh, uh, Microsoft Windows Neptune looked like. It still has a Windows Millennium Beta team for some reason. <laughs> Anyways. But, um, yeah, after this, guys, you guys are going to be able to see my Windows M. Oh, uh, Windows ME. I'm already done with Windows ME. You guys are going to be able to see my Windows Neptune series. It's only going to be one video because there's only one build, but I'm going to try and get everything about Windows Neptune in that. It's going to be a very long video. <laughs> it's going to be one of my longest ones. One of my longest ones. Second longest, I believe. But I do hope you guys will enjoy it because I'm going to try and cover every single aspect of Windows Neptune that is new and pretty much revolutionary for its time so you guys can check that out it'll be really fun I'll, i'm gonna have fun making that it's gonna be nice i'm also gonna include well actually i'll wait on that i'm I, I won't give too much away for you guys i'm gonna keep that a surprise so look for that next week that's gonna be a special a one video special and after that we will be able to go right into my windows whistler builds or windows xp it's going to be a very fun ride. It's going to be really nice. I'm, I'm, I know you guys will love the Windows XP ones. There's a lot to see. There's a lot to see how the UI changed from Windows 2000. And it's slowly built on to going into XP. It's, oh, it's so nice. I loved it. I loved filming it because I was pretty amazed how relatively quickly Microsoft was able to actually succeed in that aspect. Which was... Very cool. I really enjoyed doing that. And I'm going to enjoy making those videos because that's... I grew up with Windows XP and I... I'm a big fan of that operating system. It's my channel icon, for heaven's sakes. So, <laughs> how could I not like Windows XP? Anyways, I'm pretty sure I covered everything I can on Windows ME. Everything I could on Windows ME. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me up to this point. All the way from Windows 1.0 down right now to Windows ME. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. And for always, always, always coming back to watch my videos. It really really does touch my heart that you guys do enjoy my content please rate comment and subscribe give it a share so you guys can share more windows history to the world to people that are interested again thank you for all the love and support myra's alertable signing off